Hey guys, Wicked here and welcome to a Clash Royale episode. Today guys, we're going to do something a bit casual. As you know, we've been doing a lot of sneak peek videos and there are a little bit of a hard work sometimes. We have to stay up late, uh, especially Game Hunter. He's got two jobs and does YouTube videos on the side as well. So that's a lot of hours working, but he does it for the love of making YouTube videos and um, pleasing his fans as well. So let's go ahead and do something casual since a little bit of a reward we're doing the sneak peeks for the subscribers let's go ahead and do a mass furnace uh, gameplay here so what we're gonna do is clear the two towers uh, on each side so we can free up that real estate so we can put uh, an elixir collector farm on the left side and then we're gonna see how many furnaces we can drop along with the mirror uh, to make the process a little bit more quicker. So what we're doing now is just clearing both towers. Um, we're not really uh, doing a, a live battle or anything like that. We're just um, we're just mucking around. Um, it's not going to be a, a serious battle. So guys, it's not a, a serious attack strategy. A lot of people get freak out when um, something different's happening on the screen. Um, so what we're going to do is clear these towers. And the furnace, to me, guys. Um, let's talk about the furnace a bit because it's just coming out. The update is uh, coming out right now. Uh, the service maintenance is happening. So once the service maintenance is done, uh, people are able to grab uh, the furnace and a few other cards. And if legendaries, if you guys are lucky. So anyway, guys, talk, let's talk about the furnace. So the furnace is what five elixir, and it spawns uh, two fire spirits every 10 seconds for 50 seconds so I've tested out the uh, furnace in a few scenarios um, for example against the sparky it's really not good against the sparky just because of the um, this res the spawn time so every 10 seconds is way too slow to counter the sparky um, if it's already got uh, fire spirits already out then it will stop one charge but if it's left alone uh, the Sparky will win over the Furnace. The Furnace will pretty much get annihilated. So um, I think maybe later on, I believe they probably um, increase the speed of the spawn time maybe at least another second. Maybe one or two seconds and then it's probably worth your while bringing it uh, to battle. So here we go guys, we cleared the sides on each side and now we're just going to uh, kill off the uh, attacking troops that we've um, sent out. So. So yeah, so maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll increase the spawn time to one to two seconds later down in future updates because I think a lot of people probably don't really know the value of the furnace at the moment. For me, I think it's really good at clearing maybe anti-spawner decks, maybe against goblins and uh, um, goblins and maybe skeleton tombstones and stuff like that. But other than that, um, the spawn rate is quite low, so uh, uh, quite slow. So. Anyway guys, here we go. We've got four elixir pumps down, one furnace, and we got he's got the ice wizard uh, just to counter some of the uh, fire spirits while I build up here. So we're going to try to see if we can get as many as possible, and we've got two at the moment, and we've got five elixir pumps. So the mirror's doing really well, doing a great job pumping out elixir for me, and he can't deploy his golem yet because uh, we've let him have a golem so he can kind of defend himself, and let's see how many uh, furnaces we got here so there's three at the moment we got another elixir pump that's whoa that's crazy that's eight elixir pumps on one side I just lost the furnace so um, I'm just waiting I should just cycle these smaller troops out as quickly as possible fire spirits, fire spirits down uh, goblins down and then another elixir collector and um, I got a bit of OCD there I uh, misplaced that elixir collector and it's kind of driving me nuts that it's right in the middle where I couldn't place another one and here we go guys, here's another furnace here, we've got four furnaces now, he's got the golem in. Let's see how it does against this golem right now. And yeah, wow, it's demolishing it really quickly. Those fire spirits are smashing into the golem, knocking him out in no time. So here we go guys, we've got four furnaces, now we've got five. Can we get another one? No, one just disappeared, so we've got five still. And look at those fire, uh, fire spirits coming out, but we've got a ton of elixir collectors on the left. We got uh, we got seven now. It used to be eight, and here comes another golem, guys. And uh, we're gonna get knock that out asap and the ice wizard. So we got around six at the moment. Let's see if we can get another one in there. Uh, one another one disappears. It's they really disappear really quickly. And I uh, got another mirror here for another furnace. So that is what seven. 
seven uh, furnaces on the right hand side and uh, let's see what else we can do here. We've got another golem coming down and uh, hopefully we can withhold uh, this golem coming through here. Look at the fire spirits guys. Oh my goodness. There's so many fire spirits. They're just, they're just jumping into the golem, giving him a fiery hug and uh, pretty much demolishing him. So there we go. The ice wizards are coming in now. Uh, not very happy with uh, them knocking out that furnace, but it is pretty close to them in their range So we're gonna have to drive them back with a lot more furnaces He drops a golem on my side, so there's gonna be no more chance to drop any more furnaces So we've got the maximum of seven furnaces in one go and um, We're gonna knock out this golem again and uh, see what we can do here. So there we go guys That is seven furnaces. There's 44 seconds left. Let's see if we can build up a little bit more now so what do you guys think about the furnaces? Uh, do, you, do you think it'll be good in your battle decks? Have you thought of what decks it'll go in? Um, I thought it'd go well with the spawner decks. Uh, probably put in the goblin hut and the tombstone and uh, the, the furnace alongside maybe with a giant or a royal... I think a royal giant would actually be perfect to be in the spawner deck now uh, because of its range. So imagine or oh, maybe even in the sparky i would even imagine the sparky in the spawner deck all those troops covering the sparky while it goes through um will really really make the sparky powerful because as you know sparky is quite powerful and um and it needs friends to get that blast off so there we go guys that was seven furnaces total i don't know if anyone counted how many uh fire spirits that came out of all those furnaces I'll give you guys a $10 gift card if you um, if you guys tell me exactly how many fire spirits actually spawn out of each furnace. So let me know in the comments below if you do and um, I'll, uh, you can contact me on Twitter to get your prize if, uh, if I think that's the right answer. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure you smack that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you guys next episode. Later guys.